men that are apt to what be taught. Okay? And the new wine is what? The new way of life, through the new doctrine, through Yahweh Shai. Judgment, mercy, faith, which the Pharisees didn't have. Okay? The Pharisees, do, and it wasn't just equated to the Pharisees, it was equated to anybody that was not putting off the old man, the old ways. Right? That was the old wine. Right? We're going to shut off soon. Okay? And it says, a man of counsel will be considerate. So even counsels are very, very important. Right? Very important. A man of counsel would be considerate. Think. Right? And again, that doesn't mean you're brought before a council and you gotta discuss things, we gotta do we gotta to come together and do a little No. But it's a man of counsel would be considerate. A council's a lot of the time are these videos. These videos are known as what? Councils. Counseling for what? These videos that are being done. And it takes a spiritual man, what applies to you and what don't apply to you. Right? Okay. So a man of counsel would be considerate. So every time something's being said to me, I'm always apt to learn and listen. And if something that might be bothering you, then guess what? You have to take that on board and say, you know what? I'm being considerate. See, that's a wise man, right? But a strange and proud man, strange and proud, right? Strange and proud, or not, a proud man is not daunted with fear, right? So this man would just go about his life like everything's cool, right? Moving without any fear at all, right? A strange and proud man, it's not daunted with fear. Even when of himself, he have done without counsel. So the videos that are done is counseling. Okay, for the elect, right? Do nothing without advice. So you have brothers, and they give you the advice. Even when you're not around them, the advice is what through videos. You may be thinking about something a video catered to what you were actually thinking about that was the advice just for you just how to deal with that situation right and when that has once done repent not right so you got that advice and that's it and brothers they must they, they may cast lots you've casted a lot about something okay you got the answer okay don't go don't go back again and cast another lot right you got the answer don't try and because that's wicked, right? So once you've got your answer, you've got the answer. And that's it, right? Bear me just a minute. So now we went to, the, let's go into Isaiah 30. Okay, yes, a sinful man will not be reproved. That was the mindset of those Pharisees, right? Up on them high seats. As long as they could look good, okay, towards the people and keep their position. That's all they were concerned with, right? Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children. So the rebellious people. It's not just like an unto a man that doesn't want to hear the truth. The rebellious people, what? The wicked Pharisees and scribes and chief priests. They were rebellious because they didn't want to hear what the prophets had to say. Right? Okay. Lying children. Right? And you shouldn't be lying to brothers in this truth. Right? And the scripture says a lie is a what? A foul blot in a man. Because no one will believe you. When you tell them something, you may, they, you may tell them something that's true. But you, you've got a habit of lying, so no one's going to believe you. <laughs> okay. And it says that we'll not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh Shai. So people, they don't really want to hear the law, the ways of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. 
All right? Excuse me. Which say to the says, the prophets, see not. Same thing with Stephen. Same thing with all the, the, the other prophets, the apostles. Right? See not. Okay. In other words, see, turn the blind eye. Right? See not unto the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. So I put their rather that we tell them lies. Right? That's what they would rather. Right? Excuse me. Hiccups. Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. So our people would rather hear lies, deceit, smooth things. Right? Okay. Prophesy deceit. So our people would really, they'd rather hear deceits. Lies that we told them something good, something that appeases their feelings so they can feel better. Right? And again, I've, I've witnessed this. I've been teaching them and seen men on the other side, right? They want to hear good stuff. Just like them Christian churches. As long as you're telling them good stuff. That's why they come to churches every Sunday. <laughs> okay? Because the pastors ain't really telling them what's about to come up on this earth. Right? They're not telling you to get right. Alright? Okay? This teaching you to dance, sing, act like a complete fool, clap, say yeah, 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 can't cut, you know, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, that's all, that's all Christians say in the church, yes, yes, the, the pastor can say anything, you just say yes, 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 learn to say no sometimes, man, okay, because we're coming into that time as well, Jacob's trouble, where you're going to have to say no, and not give him. Okay? And it says, bear me just a minute. What else have we got? And it says, it's like it's freezing out here. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy unto us deceits. So our people, they would rather deceits. Right? They'd rather lies. They'd rather us, us tell them lies. So they're not ready. That's someone that's not ready about truth. Right? Get you out of the way, right? Turn aside. Wow, so these are, that's a wicked, that's a wicked individual. Turn aside. They want us to turn aside. They want us to pervert. They don't, they want us to twist the ways of Yahweh Shai. They'd rather us tell, tell them something that's not true, right? And turn aside out of the past. So these men, they want us to turn aside. Because they're wicked. Because they're not dealing rightly. Right? And turn aside. Out of the path. So you got men, they're trying to get us out of the way. Out of that path. Right? Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And again, it's the same generation that will what? Try to exit Yahushai out. Try to do away with Yahushai. It's that same generation. Right? Calls the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us to be done away with. So, yeah, I always say the wickedness, okay, is within our own nation. Esau's the wicked, yeah, he's the devil. He's, he's what, a whipping stick for the necessary evil. Right? That's what he is. Okay? But our own people. They're going to receive that judgment on this side because they're against Yahweh Shai, right? And you can't tell me they're not, right? Okay, and they're all back here today around the truth, in and around the truth. Well, they're not really, they're not really in the truth because they were, if they were in the truth, they would receive Yahweh Shai, okay? We're going to shut off soon. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shai, because you despise his words. So a lot of our people, they despise Yahweh Shai and his words. Right? And trust in oppression. Right? Yeah, they trust in oppression. They trust.
lost in this world, right? They trust in Esau, they trust in oppression, right? And that's why if you're, if you're in a camp and you're already speaking the words of Yahweh Shai, you ain't going to be in that camp for any longer, especially if you're around wicked men. Especially if Esau's got his hand up in there, because Esau's going to try to what, remove you, right? Get rid of you, okay? And this is what you got going on today. Okay. And trust in the pressure of the perverseness, despise his word and trust in the pressure of the perverseness and stay there. Right? Therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out on a high wall whose breaking cometh in an instant. So that's what's going to happen to our people. Right? They're going to see sooner or later. Okay. Sooner or later, right? So with this, I'm gonna shut off here because man, it's gonna be hella stormy out here. Okay, okay. Bear me just a minute, but you know what? I hope this is edifying. And until the next time, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? And until the next time, shalom.